All right, guys, if we are to consider what we had from the previous exercises, it was a factorization, uh, which is somehow you have to consider the highest common factor as we talked about. This is the same situation that you are going to also apply. If we are to check properly, we are going to see that there are brackets that are being given automatic or already we have got brackets in each and every algebraic expression or presentation that we are given. All right, factorize completely. On number one, we are given a into the bracket of B plus C plus a D into the bracket of B plus C. I'm going to explain how do you factorize whenever you have got these typical questions. I'm seeing that there is a common bracket here, which is the bracket of B plus C. Also another bracket of B plus C and is the common, the same bracket, same bracket, it's the same thing. B plus C, B plus C. So this is what you do. You factor out this bracket because it is common. So you remove that common bracket of B plus C. It's a common bracket, isn't it? So we factor that one out. And by factoring out this bracket, it means I'm left with A on this part. So I'm going to be left with another bracket, I'm going to put A. And on the other part, if I factor out this, if I remove this, I divide back to this one, it cancels. So I'm going to remain with a plus D. Take note, the, 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 the letter and the sign, maybe it's a number, whatever that you have there, you are supposed to consider also its sign. So we have factorized, and at the end of the day, we are obtaining two brackets. So this is the type of factorization, again, that you are supposed to consider in your simplification. All right, same thing as number two, we are given uh, in this case, that is 2x into the bracket of x minus y minus y into the bracket of x minus one, uh, minus y like this. So considering again that we have got the same bracket, which is common uh, between these two, part that we have, there's an X minus Y, there's also an X minus Y, which is the common bracket. So you have to factor out that common bracket of X minus Y. So by factoring out the bracket of X minus Y, you will be left on this part with a two X and on this part, you will be left with a minus one, just like that. Just like that, this is how you're going to be Factorization, factorizing all these algebraic expressions that you're seeing here. Like I said, you might be given a number, whatever that you're given, it is still one and the same thing. Considering question number five, we are given three X into the bracket of X plus one, minus two into the bracket of X plus one. So considering the same situation that the two brackets are the same, and we are supposed to factor out that common bracket, which is, uh, x plus one, according to this expression that we are given, the bracket of x plus one is common. So by factoring out the bracket of x plus one, we are going to be left in the first, on the first part, you are going to be left with three x, and on this part, you are left with a negative two. The number is supposed to be having its sign that is corresponding to that. So this is what you are going to have. And as you can see, it is exactly in simplest form. So never be afraid of these typical questions. That is how you're going to have. But now let us consider this question on number seven. There's something that is happening there. On number seven, we are given that is 3a into the bracket of b minus 4c minus 6 into the bracket of uh, we are given this as b minus 4c again. So considering the same situation that we had uh, from our simplification, we'll see that there is a common bracket, which is the bracket of b minus 4c. So from this bracket of b minus 4c, we'll see that we can factor out this because it is the common term. So by factoring out the bracket of b minus 4c, what am I going to remain with? I'm, rema I'm remaining actually here with a 3a, and here I'm remaining with a minus six. But consider this, let us go back here. The question is not just to factorize, but to factorize completely. 
it is not just to factorize, but it must be completely factorized. So if we are to consider, we are going to see that, all right, let's go back to the first exercise that we did on our factorization. We worked with the two algebraic terms that is a binomial like this, where something is common, you're supposed to factor it out. Between 3a and minus 6, you can see that 3 is still common. So meaning to say, we can factor out these three here. So if I factor out these three on this bracket of 3, minus 6b is going to be 3a divided to 3, that is going to be a minus 6 divided to 3, that is going to be a minus 2. Then this bracket, I'm just going to rewrite as it is b minus 4c. There is no effect at all. So this is now fully factorized, completely factorized. Nothing is common inside of the brackets. If you have a term still common inside of the brackets, you haven't started. You have to factorize again until once you check the brackets, you look into the brackets, you see there is nothing common in this bracket. There is nothing common in this bracket. Be there, you have fully or you have completely factorized your expressions. So it is the same thing as also on number eight, if you are to consider that it was 4x into the bracket of x minus 2 minus 8 into the bracket of x minus 2. So considering this, we're going to see that, all right, x minus 2 is the highest common factor, which is fine, which is actually fine. And uh, we can factor out this as usual, but be careful on the answer that you are going to have at the end. By factoring out the bracket of x minus 2, you are remaining on this part with 4x. And on this part, you are remaining with a minus 8. Having the bracket of 4x minus 8, we can see that 4 is still common. It is the highest common factor in this bracket. So we can factor out the 4. That is 4x divided by 4 equal to half x minus 8 divided by 4. That is minus 2. I want you to consider the introduction of uh, the factorization. You see that we talked about this uh, type of factorization. Then this bracket of x minus 2, just going to rewrite as it is. So whenever you're given this, it's like two times two. Remember, it's two squared. So also, if the brackets are multiplying each other, these can be even written as four into the bracket of x minus two squared. It's simply one of the same thing, even just leave it like that. You're done. It is fully factorized when it is like that. So be very, very careful in your simplification. I want you to be very, very careful. All right. On number nine, there's nothing that is new there. We are just considering a minus b to the exponent of two minus two into the bracket of a minus b. So even in terms of the bracket, remember when I consider the highest common factor, I said if something is common, you have to consider when the exponents are now involved, you have to consider the one that is for the smallest exponent. So there is a bracket of a minus b to the exponent of two there is also a bracket of a minus b to the exponent of one. So which one is called the smallest exponent is the one of the a minus b to the exponent of one. So these can be written, or we can factor out this as a minus b, this bracket like this. So what are we going to remain with if we factor out the bracket of a minus b? There is a minus b squared. So it's, it was going to be like this, a minus b squared over a minus b. So definitely this will cancel into this, but there are two of them. It's like there are two brackets here of A minus B. I want you to see this. It's like this. It's like there's A minus B. There's A minus B divided to A minus B. So, so that is the case. This will cancel. You remain with A minus B. So the moment you do this on this part, you are going to remain with A minus B. If I factor out A minus B, which is the same as this A minus B here, I'm going to remain with what? I'm going to remain with a minus two. So this will be a minus two like this. So you can just leave it like that uh, as it is like this. This is how we can have our expression because that bracket, we're supposed to actually have it like a bracket like the like another bracket, but there's no need uh, because there's one there. So just write it like this. It's still one and the same thing. So that is how you factorize this type of equation. You just have to divide uh, if you have to consider, these are the same questions that we are having, even on this part here, this part. All right, so I'm just going to do number 11, because same as number 10, same as number 12. All right, we are given number 11, y minus 5 to the exponent of 3 
minus y minus 5 like this to the exponent of 2. So you just have to factor out the highest common factor, which is the one that is common and having the smallest exponent, which is y squared. So factoring out y minus 5 to the exponent of 2, what are we going to remain with? Here there are 3, here there are 2. So if we divide 3 minus 2, that is going to remain with only y minus 5. All right, here they are the same, y minus 5, y minus 5, this will cancel. So you're going to remain with a minus 1. So it will be a minus 1. This is cancelled. So there is a 1 that is remaining there. But there is a negative, so it will be minus 1. So this one can be simplified. The previous one, we were not having common terms or like terms there. But in this case, there are like terms inside of this bracket. So you can even simplify this uh, minus 5 minus one, that is a, a minus six, like this, all right? So like this, we are done. This is fully factorized. More questions like this from Amazon African Motives to come. Just make sure that you subscribe to this channel uh, to do the right thing. Uh, make sure that you are part of this channel, part of this family, so that you won't miss any of the activities, any of the question papers that you might need uh, to prepare yourselves uh, in this journey of your mathematics for grade nine up to the mathematics for grade uh, 12. So till we meet again.